Merry meet and welcome to Lux Dragon Queen Magic. I'm Taylor and today is our Witchy Wednesday and today we're going to continue talking about magical tools and we're going to cover brooms. So brooms are probably one of the most recognizable magical tools especially in a witch's practice because this is where a lot of stories and fairy tales will have them seen. There is such a thing as a flying broom, but typically it is just used more so to help protect you while you are actually traveling. So to get more into it, a broom is actually meant to be a protector. And ultimately, it is always a good idea to go ahead and place your broom up against a door or a wall within your home. My broom cannot stand up on its own, so I have it hanging from a hook. But this really is going to be one of the best ways to go ahead and have it within your home because then you are automatically putting a protective boundary around your home and to let any negative energy be expressed external before it can come into before someone can come into your home and then to further that point there is a superstition that when a broom falls that you will be receiving company whether it's wanted or unwanted unsure just depends upon your mood i guess then the other thing i really wanted to share about the fact is that brooms are also great to use for cleansing so you don't have to have a magical broom that you made or even bought but you can use a simple broom that you use to clean your house and then it is just all about the magical intention that you put behind your broom while you are cleaning and so if your intention while you're sweeping around your house is to sweep away all of the negativity and to really cleanse that space and to bring in more positivity for that energy then you are doing fantastic there is something to be said about when you are cleansing a space it is more about moving the energy around than the way that you do it so just like how you can float incense throughout your house and um, or even like sage in your house, you can have that same kind of mentality when you, you are sweeping with your broom. So on that note, when I was traveling, I couldn't use incense because I didn't want to upset the owners because sometimes people are sensitive in their rental spaces of smoke of any kind. And so what I would do is I would take this broom and I would sweep the air all around and make sure that I moved all of the energy to cleanse it and bring in good positivity and so that I felt protected and safe within that new area. And so that is just going to be some of the few ways that you can use a magical broom. There are definitely infinite ways that you can connect with a broom. Myself, I love this broom. It is actually literally a relic from my past. My ex had a walking stick that he left behind. It had a lion's head carved onto it. And I had a friend who was a woodworker who we made a deal. He would cut off part of it and carve in the tree of life for me. And then his wife also gave me these... Um, wooden spindles so that I could create the bottom. It was just so very fortunate. And so while it cannot stand on its own, it's the perfect representation for me from how to become so resilient and to remind myself that I am always protected and loved and I have a supportive group around me. And then to further that, I did make a smaller version to place on my altar, which I'll show you now. Merry meet again. So here is that little piece that I made using some of the wooden spindles. And ultimately, this really just came out because I was gathering the other tools that were described as witch's tools, and I just wanted something to represent the broom on my altar. And so it was just a really perfect little thing that I could make, and with it too, I just wanted to really put out there the fact that even this, if I didn't have my larger form of broom, I could use this to help me cleanse the air. It might take me a little bit longer because of the size, but the fact is that as long as I put the intention behind it, behind cleansing, behind wanting protection, that this broom alone could still provide that for me. And so just as I was saying that you could use your regular broom, definitely understand how much the energy behind your intention is more important than the actual tools that you're using. Further to that point, some additional ways that you can use a broom for magical cleansing or for just any kind of intention that you're wanting to put out there is you can use spices or incense and you can put those uh, either incense, ash, or the spices themselves on the ground and again sprinkle them with intention and then as you go and sweep them up you will notice a certain magical empowerment come over you. I recently did this with oregano and my entire place smelled like oregano even though I only sprinkled a little bit and for me that is just a confirmation that the intention I did was put further out into the universe and further protecting my home and the psychic abilities that I was hoping to further enhance. So with that, definitely share with me below how you like to use your brooms and maybe your favorite kind of broom tool. Uh, maybe it's just 
as simple as a brush because what is a brush but a broom for her hair <laughs> anyways just a funny aside i will definitely see you guys next time i want to thank you again for being here thank you for liking and subscribing and blessed be